break in trouble. Hello students, in the previous lecture, I told you about nanoparticles and their scale of 10 to the power of minus 9, their surface to volume ratio and that on quantum or atomic scale, we consider nanoparticles. Now, quantum structures such as quantum well, quantum wire or quantum dots are characterized with very small concentration of electrons. A higher doping level will be required to have any significant electron concentration if size of nanostructure is reduced below the electron D Broglie wavelength. Now, we are going to study the quantum confinement. Nanostructured materials are those with at least one dimension falling in nanometer scale, including nanoparticles, that is quantum dots, nanowires, thin films, etc. So nanomaterials have very small size and they are coming under the scale of nanoscale. In terms of degrees of freedom, Seigel classified the nanostructured materials as zero-dimensional, that is quantum dot, one-dimensional, that is quantum wire, two-dimensional, that is quantum well, and three-dimensional, the bulk ones. This is how they were classified. And when we reduce the dimensionality produced by confining the electrons into a thin semiconductor layer, the principle can be developed by reducing the dimensionality. That means it refers to number of degrees of freedom. In quantum dot, the electron is confined in all three dimensions, thus reducing the degrees of freedom to zero. In If the number of degrees of freedom are labeled as DF and the direction of confinement at DC, then for bulk material, direction degree of confinement is zero and degree of freedom is 3D, all three directions X, Y, Z. Quantum well, degree of confinement is 1D and degree of freedom is two-dimensional. Quantum wire, degree of confinement is 2D and degree of freedom is 1D. Quantum dot, degree of confinement 3D and degree of freedom is 0. That means it is just a dot. Now, let us see. Nanoparticles are classified on the basis of their dimensionality, composition, morphology, uniformity, etc. So the zero-dimensional nanostructures, that is the quantum dots or nanocrystals, whose size is of the order of a very few nanometers. And quantum dots are unique because of their size and properties. All material systems, including metal, insulator, and semiconductors, show size-dependent electronic or optical properties in the quantum size. One-dimensional, these are one-dimensional in nanometer scale and are typically thin wires, tubes, rods, and include the circuitry of computer chips. One-dimensional nanostructures are called nanowires. Nanowires are attracting great interest these days in solid state physics. Unlike other low dimensional systems, nanowires have two quantum confined directions, one unconfined direction, degree of freedom available for electrical conduction. This makes nanowires to be used in applications more of electrical conduction. Two-dimensional nanowires have dimensions in nanometer scale, including graphene, nanolayers, nanocoatings, etc. Two-dimensional nanowires are referred to as quantum well in nanoscience. Quantum well is a particular kind of heterostructure in which one thin well layer is surrounded or sandwiched by two barrier layers. 
This layer in which both electrons and holes are confined is so thin that we cannot neglect the fact that electron and hole both are wave. And this system is quantized. That means it is occurring in multiples. Hence, the name quantum well. Three-dimensional nanostructures, materials that are nanoscaled in all three dimensions are considered as three-dimensional nanomaterials. They include bulk materials like bulk powders, colloids, bundles of wires, fibers, and others, etc.